Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now, today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting a man who made an invent he invented an improvement to an already existing invention uh, by the name of John Albert Burr. And John Albert Burr um, invented the uh, rotary blade lawnmower. And for those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, the rotary blade lawnmower was a push mower. You had to manually push it over the grass, and there's blades that would, you know, cut it, cut up the the grass. And there's like a little container that would capture the grass clippings. I mean, many lawnmowers today are driving lawnmowers, so you don't even have to think of it. You know, most young people today probably never even seen a push lawnmower. But John Albert Burr. Um, uh, received the patent for the rotary blade lawnmower and for those times before the driving lawnmower was even in existence was even an idea this invention made mowing the lawn so much more easier now he received the patent on May 9th 1899 and he designed a lawn a lawnmower with traction wheels and a rotary blade that was designed to not to not easily get plugged up from the lawn clippings on those old uh, lawn mowers that would get cl clogged, the, the lawn clippings would get clogged, and you'd have to turn over the lawn mower and scoop the clippings out and then turn it back over and finish mowing the lawn. But his um, invention actually made it easy so that that doesn't happen. He also improved the design of lawn mowers by making it possible to mow closer to buildings and wall edgings. Now, just a little bit of background information on him. Uh, he was born in Maryland in 1848, and he was a teenager during the Civil War. So his parents were slaves who were later freed, and he was also a slave uh, up until the age of uh, 17. Um, he didn't escape manual labor because he worked as a field hand um, as a slave during his teenage years. But his talent was recognized. Um, his talent and his, and his uh, passion for inventing was recognized. And he was fortunate to have a wealthy black activist that ensured that he that he was able to attend engineering classes at a private university. Now he was extremely fortunate because, as we know, many slaves during that time obviously didn't have this opportunity. So that's what you know gave him a leg up already. Now he put his mechanical skills to work making a living repairing and servicing farm equipment and other machines. Later on, he moved to Chicago, and then he worked as a steel worker, where he filed his patent for the rotary mower in 1898. And at this time, he was living in Massachusetts. He stated about his invention, he says, The object of my invention is to provide a casing which wholly encloses the operating gearing so as to prevent it from, beginning, from becoming choked by the grass or clogged by obstructions of any kind. That's what he stated on his patent application. And his rotary lawnmower design helped reduce the irritating clogs of clipping, um, clippings, as we mentioned before. And it was also more maneuverable so that it can get around objects. Sometimes kids may leave toys in the lawn or whatever, or maybe a rock in the lawn as you're mowing that, you know, may become an obstruction. So he improved the design so that it can get closer to buildings, uh, get around objects, you know, that may be um, on the lawn. And it made it just overall easier for the person pushing the lawn. Now, looking at his diagram on the patent, you can see a design that is very familiar to manual, manual rotary uh, lawn mowers today. Um, as uh, lawns became smaller in many new neighborhoods, um, and in a lot of these new newer neighborhoods, people are starting to go back to the old school lawn mowers that were like um, uh, um, John um, Burr's design. Um, but as, as I mentioned earlier, many people are more familiar with the, the driving lawnmower. But uh, John Burr, he continued to uh, make improvements to his patent design. I mean, he also designed devices for mulching, clippings, sifting, and dispersing them. And um, today, uh, mulching power mo motors, or uh, mowers, excuse me, um, are, are part of his legacy. Um, and it's funny because you know now everybody's into the environment now, but his inventions actually his invention actually was good for the environment before a time people were even thinking about that. 
I mean, the mulching power motor, mowers uh, of today, uh, they return nutrients to the turf rather than bag them up, you know, and, and throw them out like people were doing at the time. Um, so in this way, his inventions helped to save labor and were also good for the grass. Um, he held over 30 U.S. patents for lawn care and agricultural inventions. 30 U.S. patents. And this is from someone who was formerly a slave. So it goes to show you the ingenuity the, the, that he had, you know, during this time, you know, that he was able to receive 30 patents for different inventions involving lawn care. And he enjoyed the fruits of his success. Many inventors, unfortunately, they don't get to see their designs commercialized or to see any of the benefits. But he was able to get royalties for his creations and he enjoyed traveling and lecturing and he lived a long life. And he died in 1926 of, of the flu, or what they called back then influenza, at the age of 78. But we can see that his legacy lives on, and the lawnmowers today, every time we see a push lawnmower, think about John Albert Burr and how he made it possible. So uh, that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. We just wanted to highlight that invention, um, another invention invented by a black American that changed the way uh, we live today. Um, but thank you for um, all your support here. And I just want to mention that we now have the uh, ebook available, Everyday Black History, African American Women Inventors, where it's the first part in a, a multiple, you know, it's the first part in a series of books that's going to come out. And, and this one is, you know, part one where we cover um, a few of the African American uh, women inventors from both the 19th and the 20th century. And the inventions that you know changed their life as well as millions of lives down to this day so you can find that on amazon so please check that out um it's a short read but it's um, important to highlight those things and um, these accomplishments because it's just to show how even despite slavery and lack of education or lack, lack of opportunity our people were still able to thrive um, and these black women were still able to thrive and create and invent so please uh, look for that um, on Amazon, and thank you for the support. Stay tuned for the next episode.